came to my attention, uh, Kevin Dietrich at the NERD wrote an article on a uh, lawsuit which is pending in front of the South Carolina Supreme Court. It's being presented by an attorney named Lewis and also uh, Dick Hartputlian. And uh, the purpose of this is to do away with our tax exemptions. And it concerns me a little bit. The original lawsuit is dated March 14th. And uh, as far as I can figure out, this is coming out before the Supreme Court on November 29th. Uh, item one, this has not gone through the lower court first. Item two, this sounds like a fast track deal to me, since it was just presented on uh, or instituted on March 14th and up for. Uh, review on November 29th. Uh, the basis of the lawsuit is saying that our tax exemptions in the state of South Carolina are not constitutional. This was addressed, I believe, in 2003 already, and uh, the findings at that time, and there was only 67 exemptions at that time, they were found to be constitutional. So we continued the way that we are. Uh, the way I look at it, certainly there are some exemptions that I disagree with, and the entire system should be looked at. But if this goes through, especially with Gene Toll as being in charge of this, is a cause of concern for me. Uh, but if it's proved to be unconstitutional, the way I look at it is the DOR could immediately begin taking uh, taxes on things like prescription drugs, food, fuel, ATM machines are in there as well. Yes, sir. Um, just to clarify so that at least I can understand. <coughs> when you fill out a, a 1040 federal form, right, right, and you know, and you're entitled to certain exemptions. Those same exemptions automatically go to the state on your state taxes. Right. How are they going? On? So I don't, I don't, I don't see how they can do that. I don't either, and that may be the basis for the ruling of being constitutional in 2003. But my main purpose is one to make y'all aware of this, and <coughs> number two, I mean, I'm representing myself. I'm not representing the Tea Party even though I lobby the, uh, or I chair the lobbying committee, but this is concerning. I mean, yeah, I think Tavern had some comment. We talked about this last night. He has some insights and stuff. Well, yeah, well, Ed and I had an email conversation about it, and uh, I think, so you got Harpootlian, who is the chair of the Democratic Party of South Carolina, who has filed a lawsuit, uh, or in his behalf, I suppose, and, and then you've got, uh, and, and his claim is, like I said, that it's unconstitutional under equal protection. That uh, you can't have sales tax on some items and not on other items, or you can't have some people paying a tax that other people don't aren't required to pay. And and uh, and he's right. It, you should have unequal taxation, right? I mean, you shouldn't be taxing some one class of people and not another class of people. But then you've got McConnell and Harrell, who are writing articles all around the state and filed an amicus brief, I think, uh, that they say, well, it's not the purview of the court, that it's the legislature. Well, but in their amicus brief, where they say that it belongs to the legislature to take care of this problem, well, they're indicting themselves because they've been in charge of the legislature for I don't know how many years. Right? Right. So... Um, the solution, in my mind, is you lay it right at their doorstep. They need to take care of this. They need to get rid of the sales tax exemptions, what they're talking about. Get rid of the sales tax exemptions and then lower the sales tax. So um, right now, the numbers are we collect $2.1 billion in sales tax. The state does. But the state exempts $2.8 billion in sales tax. So we, the state exempts more than what they collect. 
So if you do the math on that and you get rid of all the exemptions, you can lower the sales tax by more than half and still collect the same revenue. And so you stop subsidizing all the people who aren't paying the sales tax, because that's what it really is, is the folks who are paying the sales tax on the items are subsidizing the folks that aren't, like the permanent medical equipment and, and, uh, and other items like that. You know, you've got a guy who goes out and buys a $100,000 Cessna, he pays the same $300 sales tax that you buy when you go out and buy a $1,000 beater. Well, it has to be more than that, because $300 max is, is the maximum sales tax. So. The indictment is that the House and the Senate should take care of this and get it out of the courts per you. I, I agree the court shouldn't be deciding this, but the legislature needs to act on it, I think. Well, Albert, that was very good. And as uh, Albert always has a lot of facts and good information, and uh, I agree with him 95% of the time. Other time, other 5% we argue about things and still go on. But, but Ed, do you have any uh, final comments on that? Uh, my only comment was there's a lot of organizations represented here. I don't think... We should sit back and look at this and see what happens. I think there should be some type of public <coughs> voice against it, at least procedurally. I mean, the way I look at it, the Supreme Court advises and makes rulings. They don't make laws. But I throw it out to y'all. I mean, uh, I'd like some other input on where we should go. Uh, what two we should two minutes for comments, because we, uh, we have so many things on the agenda. Eddie, anyone else have a comment about this? And I'm going to pass this around okay. so you can read it. So these, these taxes, then, this, is a, this is an income tax exemption? Sales tax. Sales, oh, sales, sales tax. tax. Sales tax. Right. Yeah, it's, it's strictly on the sales tax. Oh, okay. So, I misunderstood. That's why I asked the question before. I didn't have anything to do with income tax. Income tax. Income tax. Thank you so much. Yeah, you all if we have, about it, we have time know. at the end, we can pick back up on some of this if you want to. But Super definitely good. there's interest here yeah. for this. Good. Thanks, and thanks again. Let's give Ed a round of applause. And if you're visiting South Carolina, drop by the Shawnee's Restaurant on Airport Boulevard here in Casey, South Carolina. Until next week, Steve Eisen signing off. Thanks.